Mike, Mike, I have a question for you. Earlier, we were talking about, uh, as you can see, we got we got the Hook logo behind Hook here. And uh, yes. Hook was asking us what Hook's gimmick is. <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe Hook's gimmick? Uh, I would describe Hook's gimmick as uh, first step, like part one part New Yorker. I think that's really important to his gimmick. <laughs> Long Island. Um, <laughs> yes, Long Island. Well, I, his name is Hook. He's his his father was actually billed from Red Hook, so Hook comes from Red Hook, which was where Taz billed himself from. Uh, Red Rum is also built off of that. Uh, Red Hook, Red Rum, yep. Hook, Red Hook. Huh. Um, so it's it's a very nuanced character in terms of how they built it. It's something that's built on history. Um, it's based on him being a legacy character that is not sharing a name with a legacy name. That's interesting. It doesn't have to be called Taz. He has mm-hmm. to be called another one word thing um, that is not Taz, but is uh, actually very similar. Taz is short for Tasmanian Devil. Hook short for Captain Hook. They're both popular personas that's what they came to the market with right um just you know go ahead jeff no and i was going to add on to what you're saying taz creates an image in your mind when you say that right well hook also has you know besides like mike's absolutely right you know red hook Mm -hmm. he's from red hook there but also hook is hooker in the sense where you have a shooter in pro wrestling Mm -hmm. where somebody who can really knows how to fight and handle themselves a hooker goes all the way back to, and not the oldest profession in the world, I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about a different hooker, like when the carnies would actually, before wrestling was somewhat staged, it was staged in the carnival tents, they would have a hooker, so if somebody came in here and tried to really challenge one of their guys that you were paying a nickel to go see, mm-hmm. the strong man, it's like, I'll challenge anyone to fight him. If somebody got in there like, oh, he might be able to beat our guy, we need to send our hooker out. And this guy was basically going to be the unstoppable wrestler that he's pretty, he's the Danny Hodge. Gotcha. He's going to be the, that's what Hoist crazy. He's going to basically, there's going to be nothing, nobody that's going to be able to stop him because he's going to find a way to manipulate your joints. He's going to find a way to knock you out instantly. So that's the hook. So when you see the word hook, there's also that subconscious of like, this guy really knows how to handle himself. Cool. Hence send hook because back in the carny days, Oh shit! There's somebody in there that might be able to take our guy out. Send the hooker. Oh, so it's a little so, bit of both. Like the closer. Yes, it's a closer. Yeah, Send yeah. But uh, it's it's also a thing. Um, hook. If if I were to just to go back to the original question, what's his gimmick? His gimmick is I don't give a fuck, and I'm going to kick your ass anyway. That's yeah. what I've heard so far. <laughs> yeah, I've heard his whole thing is I eat chips. I don't give a shit, and I wrestle, <laughs> and that's it. He said he doesn't I mean, say eating anything. chips, eating chips. That's that's a, you know, he's in a world of people that are three percent body fat. They're they're right. they're watching all of their intake. They're eating chicken breasts and broccoli every meal, six meals a day. He's gonna eat chips and and throw them away and and then come and 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 take you out. He just doesn't and, give a fuck. No, well, he doesn't give a fuck until Dan Housing gives a fuck. Yes. I don't know who, who's Dan Housing? Oh, oh I have so much to learn. I'm sorry. That's not my shirt right now. That's Dan Housing. He's the, a ghoul. A ghoul? He's, he's the, a ghoul. I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he's a ghoul and he curses people. He's a YouTube. Oh, he's a he has, YouTube phenom. He has a magic. He does magic. He, he legit does. curses people and then they lose. <laughs> yeah. Who is fine? I think they finally announced that he's going to have his debut match. He's not a very big guy, but his yep. gimmick is larger than life. And Sounds like it. This is so bit like even Jim Cornette's like, I never want to see this person wrestle because I'm afraid I'll stop liking him because I love him <laughs> so much right now. And that says a lot coming from Jim Cornette to like somebody that has somewhat of a colorful gimmick Mystical. in 2022. But yeah, he throws a curse. So many people are, are about to just deeply fall in love with Hook once he steps into the ring for the first time. I think um, yeah, I agree. I think he's going to do phenomenal. Like watching some of his matches after we chatted and watching, I was like, I think people are going to love him. Is the inevitable yeah. matchup Hook versus Orange Cassidy? I mean, they're leaning very heavily into Hookhausen right now, where it's just going to be Danhausen and Hook as a team. But you do wonder if they're going to have to eventually have to have Orange Cassidy and Hook. Uh, and Dan House and cross paths. 
somehow. I mean, they have to, like, there has to be an Orange Cassidy and Hook type of thing, or Hook and Orange Cassidy's characters are just so deeply related. Um, I was going to say when I was describing Hook earlier that he's kind of like Orange Cassidy if Orange Cassidy was raised by cats. <laughs> and Hook, just so you know, Orange Cassidy is another wrestler mm. who also just doesn't care. Oh, yeah. But in a very different way. <laughs> <laughs>